wood oven near Boscombe Pier. It's got to be round here somewhere. So here it is, the wood oven. We've been thinking about this for a couple of years, but humanity itself has probably been meeting on the shores, cooking over fire for maybe 200,000 years, as long as we know that we've been on Earth. Uh, our concept was really simple, really. We just looked at the takeaways on the seafront and we wanted to do something a little bit different. We wanted to do something that was about real food and real cooking, and it just seemed to make sense. Cook with fire, cook real food with fire on the beach, overlooking the sea. And this place does a few things. You can buy it at the counter and take it away to your beach hut or to the beach. You can enjoy it on a deck outside, or you can even get it delivered to your house. But um, let's have a little look at what we do. The first thing we started to learn when we sort of thought, okay, what can we cook in a wood oven? Obviously pizza is the first thing that jumps to your mind. And there's actually all sorts we can do, and we will do. Uh, in the evenings, we will use the wood oven to serve the bar snacks menu in the reef. Um, but whatever you look into, and this is what gets us so excited about food and about seasonality and about local produce, is when we started looking at pizzas, did you know there's a world championship of pizzas? Did you know that you use double O, Italian flour, and it's about how finely it's sieved? Uh, did you know that in Naples they actually have uh, rules that call license the ability to use Neapolitan pizza around the globe in the US? There's a whole world of pizza stuff going on out there that we didn't know. So uh, we're very fortunate, we found a chap, Luciano, who is from Naples, he had his own Italian restaurant for 20 years, and we've been learning the skill and the art of mixing the dough, uh, of the simplicity, but, but, but the dough is what's so important about making an awesome pizza, but also the ingredients we use. So again, we had this big debate, do we go for the traditional, do we do a proper Italian with traditional Italian meats, or do we throw in our local seasonal ethical English kind of stuff? And we decided to use a bit of a combination. Actually, the, 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 the tinned Italian tomatoes that you use for the Napoli sauce, they do make the best Napoli sauce. Italian mozzarella makes the best kind of topping. That recipe in the Italian flour makes a good base. But then it's about bringing in our own stuff. You know, what do we grow out of the farm that we can use? The globe artichokes, the asparagus. It's about our take on the seasonality of dishes. So what you'll find on our toppings is probably British ingredients. Rather than using the sort of foreign pepperonis, as we found an English paprika sausage. Rather than doing a meat feast, we do a charcuterie. When we do a cheese, you know, the quattro fromage, we actually use local English cheeses. So it's very much an urban take on the pizza. So you've got beautiful ingredients, you've got the artisan, traditional, the history of Italian, mixed with that urban twist, with local seasonality. It's about how it's cooked. Wood ovens, proper wood ovens are super, super hot. Your home oven might get up to maybe 230 degrees centigrade, something like that. We're cooking these pizzas at 500 degrees centigrade. This is a Gosney oven, a Tom Gosney oven. He's a local guy who, uh, again, fell in love with, with, with wood-fired stuff and with pizzas and other dishes. And uh, he's created this awesome product built uh, just down in Christchurch. And um, yeah, at 500 degrees, we can cook a pizza in 90 seconds. And it's about that heat of the base of the stones, which gives you the, the kind of the bubbles and the charcoal. I was in uh, another pizza place, let's not name it, in a chain the other day, and they just put the pizza on a conveyor belt. And this conveyor belt goes under a grill and it comes out the other end. It was rubbish. This is proper, proper cooking. it, And it is, it's that, the, the, the smoky, the smell of the wood, the flavor of the wood, the hot stone, the intense temperature, and the speed that it cooks is what makes an epic pizza. And then wood ovens aren't just about pizza. You can cook loads of stuff in a wood oven, and we will be. I say we'll really experiment in the evenings with this. The takeaway will keep reasonably simple. But one of the most popular things we sell at all of our venues is a burger. And we kind of thought, well, okay, let, you know, we need to do a twist on a burger. A burger actually takes quite a long time to cook if you do a really decent, thick, quality one. Um, so we looked at what could we do that was similar in a nice brioche bun with some coleslaw. So we're doing a brisket of beef cooked overnight, finished in the wood oven, gives it that gnarly, charcoaly kind of blackness around the outside, cooked with a barbecue sauce or a garlic kind of a chipotle. Uh, pork, pork shoulder, slow roasted pork shoulder in the brioche, like a hog roast kind of style. That's epic as well. Um, we're doing some chips and, um, oh, and the vegetarian as well, a lovely sort of roasted vegetable halloumi brioche bap. So um, it's not just about the pizza, but it is all about cooking real authentic food in a wood oven on the beach, cooking with fire. And how about drinks? They're important too. You've got to get really good espresso and really good coffee when you're on the beach. But some days are hot, you might want a milkshake. How can we enhance the milkshake? We've got Kayla Cake making awesome chocolate brownies with orange. She's making millionaire shortbread. Pop those in, blend them on up with the ice cream. Oh, happy days. They taste delicious as well. So don't forget to check those out.
So there you go, you know, a different kind of takeaway on the seafront with our normal passion and, uh, and love for hospitality and love for food. Please come down and try it. Uh, it might have to be a little bit patient in the first couple of weeks just while we ramp things up and get the hang of things. We'll check out some dish different dishes, we'll, we'll tweak some menus. Um, but come down, enjoy it on the beach, enjoy it on the deck and uh, you can actually even have it delivered to your house through our partners at Deliveroo. So check out their website, type in your postcode and see if they deliver. Whatever happens, uh, please send your feedback to me and um, I'll be hugely grateful. Thank you.